Comedian Ryan Davis took to his Instagram account to keep it real about this Kyrie Irving situation. With all the things surrounding Kyrie and the controversy with the tweet and also the way he handled the situation after, I think it's important that we have people like Ryan Davis to really bring clarity to these situations in a world full of fake outrage. Listen to what he had to say here. Imagine watching Dahmer posting it on social media that you watched it, going to work and finding out that you've been suspended because they believe that you think it's okay to drug and murder gay people. Ridiculous, right? It's kind of what's happening to Kyrie Irving. Just because you watch something doesn't mean you agree with everything in it or that you even have an opinion of anything in it. But yet, somehow Kyrie Irving watches a documentary and now he can't play basketball and he loses his Nike deal. The only person that's being disrespected in this whole debacle is Kyrie Irving because you're trying to get us to believe that this man is so stupid that he can't watch something and come to his own conclusions about it. And now he has to wear the label of being anti-Semitic even though he's never said anything or supported anything that was anti-Jewish. Isn't that amazing? This whole debacle actually reminds me of something I watched as a child. My mom when uh, I was young, made her kids sit down and watch this series of film uh, called Roots. And in the beginning of it, I remember uh, there was a slave named Kunta Kente, right? And he got beat in front of all the other slaves because he wouldn't say that his name is now Toby. He was like, nah, I like the name I got already. And they beat him almost to death until he said Toby. I can't figure out or see a better example of what's going on with Kyrie Irving than that. Because they asked Kyrie Irving to apologize and Kyrie Irving said, I'm not anti-Semitic. I believe all people are equal. No people are greater than any other set of people. We're all God's children. That should let you know right there where he stands as a person. But that's not what they want to hear. They want to hear him say the name that they gave him. They want him to say what they want him to say. It has absolutely nothing to do with how he feels. They're trying to prove a point to the rest of the slaves. And some of them got the message loud and clear. Could not wait to go, yes, sir. You, you better not say no other name. And it's funny, these same ones, whenever... Things came upon them and their personal life had nothing to say. Whenever the Kobe scandal happened and the eyes turned to Shaq, that maybe he'd be cheating on his wife. Um, he had nothing to say. Charles Barkley, when he was throwing people through bar windows, uh, whenever they asked him about that, he ain't got nothing to say. LeBron James, when they asked him about China, nigga ain't had nothing to say. It's funny you guys know how to be quiet whenever it comes to you, but you could not wait to throw your own brother under the bus. You know, to stay in good graces with good old boss. Now, I don't care about niggas tap dancing to stay in good graces. Uh, this is the entertainment industry. Everybody's going to bojangles a little bit. I don't care about that. But once you start to do anything to affect the livelihood of your brother, that's when I have an issue with it because you didn't have to say anything at all. Kyrie Irving has a history of being one of the most giving people in NBA history. Literally, all he does is give to different communities that's in need, whether he's a part of that community or not. How did it turn into he hates people? Very simple. Kyrie Irving has a history of bucking against the system. During <laughs> the pandemic, Kyrie Irving told the NBA that they can't control what he puts in his body. They told him, hey, well, you can't play basketball then. And he told them, I don't give a fuck about playing basketball, nor do I give a fuck about your money. You don't get to tell me what I put in my body. He bucked the system so much that they wouldn't let him play basketball, and he went and sat courtside at the games just to prove how ridiculous they were being by not letting him on the court <laughs> for <laughs> because he wouldn't take the vaccine. But he was allowed to have his feet literally on the court as a fan and a spectator without having a vaccine. 
Any rational person could come to the conclusion that Kyrie Irving didn't do anything wrong. The part that makes me laugh is they say that, well, in the documentary, there are some untruths shared that are dangerous to how Jewish people are viewed. Okay, I respect that. Kyrie didn't say that he agreed with any of that, but I respect why you would be upset with someone sharing that. Can I ask you a question? Because Kyrie and other people are watching that because they're looking for knowledge of self. They're looking for uh, information about where they come from. Would they even watch it? If they didn't come from a people who were oppressed and had their culture and history stripped from them and has been refused to be taught back to them. Hmm. Fair question, right? And if that's the case, you understand how dangerous erasure of history is. So with that being said, why is slavery constantly being pushed to be removed from the history books that we teach our children from in schools? We understand how dangerous that can be, right? Because that will lead to other parts of the history books not making sense. If you take away slavery, then the three-fifths compromise doesn't make sense, right? So you got to erase that. Voting rights won't make sense. You got to erase that. Jim Crow won't make any sense. So you would have to erase that after that. You see where this goes? And it all starts with you saying stuff like, no, we can't teach critical race theory because we don't want people to understand why black people are in the situation that they're in. Because if you take away all of that, then black people will start to look lazy and uh, inherently violent. See how dangerous that is? That's why you have to teach all the history. That's why you probably shouldn't let a group of people in a, <laughs> in a country not know where they come from or their history or continue to hide the history or try to erase the history from them. Because then they'll go searching and then you'll get mad whenever the history says something negative about you that they find true or not true. So have some sympathy or empathy for people like Kyrie is what I would say. What y'all think about what Ryan had to say? Was he speaking facts? Let me know down below in the comment section. Leave a like and subscribe to the GMS show. I'll see y'all later.